when I go into a bank, I get rattled. Rattle means nervous. The clerks rattle me. The wickets rattle me. The sight of the money rattles me. Everything rattles me. Clerk is a person who deals with letters, accounts, etc. in an office. Wicket is a small door or gate. The moment I cross the threshold of a bank, I am a hesitating J. Threshold means entrance or doorway. J means stupid or a foolish person. Hesitate means to feel shy. If I attempt to transact business there, I become an irresponsible idiot. Attempt means to try or make an effort. Transact means to do or carry out business. I knew this beforehand, but my salary had been raised to $50 a month and I felt that the bank was the only place for it. So I shambled in and looked timidly around at the clerks. Shamble means to walk slowly and awkwardly, as if not lifting one's feet properly off the ground. Timidly means shyly or fearfully. I had an idea that a person about to open an account must needs consult the manager. Consult means to seek advice or information from. I went up to a wicket marked accountant. The accountant was a tall, cool devil. The very sight of him rattled me. My voice was sepulchral. Sepulchral means joyless or sorrowful. Can I see the manager? I said and added solemnly, alone. Solemnly means gravely, sincerely, with dignity. I don't know why I said alone. Certainly, said the accountant, and fetched him. Fetch means to bring in or to introduce. The manager was a grave, calm man. Grave means noble or big. I held my $56 clutched in a crumpled ball in my pocket. Clutched means to occupy, to hold or to capture. Crumpled means to crush out of shape. Are you the manager? I said. God knows I didn't doubt it. Yes, he said. Can I see you? I asked. Alone? I didn't want to say alone again, but without it, the thing seemed self-evident. Self-evident means obvious or evident without proof or argument. The manager looked at me in some alarm. Alarm means fear resulting from the awareness of danger. He felt that I had an awful secret to reveal. Awful means terrible or fearful. Reveal means to bring out or to uncover. Come in here, he said, and led the way to a private room. He turned the key. We are safe from interruption here, he said. Sit down. Interruption means disturbance or stopping. We both sat down and looked at one another. I found no voice to speak. You are one of Pinkerton's men, I presume, he said. Presume means to allow oneself or to dare to take for granted. Pinkerton's men. Pinkerton's were the nation's first and most prominent private police force in the early 1950s started by a Scottish immigrant, Alan Pinkerton. He had gathered from my mysterious manner that I was a detective. Mysterious means secretive or strange. Detective is an investigator. I knew what he was thinking and it made me worse. No, not from Pinkerton's, I said, seemingly to imply that I came from a rival agency. Seemingly means maybe or perhaps. Imply means to hint or indirectly suggest. Rival means competitor. To tell the truth, I went on, as if I had been prompted to lie about it, I'm not a detective at all. Prompted means motivated or excited. 
I have come to open an account. I intend to keep all my money in this bank. Intend means to plan. The manager looked relieved, but still serious. He concluded now that I was a son of Baron Rothschild or a young Gould. Relieved means to ease, offer assistance. Baron Rothschild was a British banker and politician from the wealthy international Rothschild family. Gould was one of the richest men of that time. A large account, I suppose, he said. Fairly large, I whispered. I propose to deposit $56 now and $50 a month regularly. Whisper means speak softly. Propose means to offer for consideration or to suggest. Deposit means an act of putting money in a bank, etc. The manager got up, opened the door. He called to the accountant. Mr. Montgomery, he said unkindly loud. This gentleman is opening an account. He will deposit $56. Good morning. I rose. Rose is the past tense of rise to stand up. A big iron door stood open at the side of the room. Good morning, I said, and stepped into the safe. Come out, said the manager coldly and showed me the other way. Coldly means distantly in an unfriendly manner. I went up to the accountant's wicket and poked the ball of money at him with a quick convulsive movement as if I were doing a conjuring trick. Poke means to push something into. Convulsive means affected by involuntary jerky muscular contractions. Conjuring trick means magic trick. My face was ghastly pale. Ghastly means alarming, inspiring horror. Pale means very light coloured, highly diluted with white. Here, I said, deposit it. The tone of the words seemed to mean, let us do this painful thing while the fit is on us. He took the money and gave it to another clerk. He made me write the sum on a slip and sign my name in a book. I no longer knew what I was doing. The bank swam before my eyes. Swam means dizzy or giddy. Is it deposited? I asked in a hollow, vibrating voice. Hollow means empty or meaningless. It is, said the accountant. Then I want to draw a check. My idea was to draw out six dollars of it for present use. Draw out means remove. Someone gave me a checkbook through a wicket and someone else began telling me how to write it out. The people in the bank had the impression that I was an invalid millionaire. Invalid means expired or null millionaire, a person whose material wealth is valued at more than a million dollars. I wrote something on the cheque and thrust it at the clerk. He looked at it. Thrust means place or put with great energy. What? Are you drawing it all out again? He asked in surprise. Then I realised that I had written 56 instead of 6. I was too far gone to reason now. I had a feeling that it was impossible to explain the thing. All the clerks had stopped writing to look at me. Reckless with misery, I made a plunge. Reckless means careless. Misery means a feeling of intense unhappiness or miserableness. Plunge means to rush. Yes, the whole thing. You withdraw your money from the bank? Withdraw means to remove money from a bank account, etc. Every cent of it. Are you not going to deposit any more? Said the clerk, astonished. Astonished means amazed or surprised. Never. An idiot hope struck me that they might think something had insulted me while I was writing the check and that I had changed my mind. I made a wretched attempt to look like a man with a fearfully quick temper. Wretched means poor 
or useless, good for nothing or miserable. Fearfully means horribly, terribly in fright. Temper means a tendency to become unpleasant when angry. The clerk prepared to pay the money. How will you have it? He said. What? How will you have it? Oh, I caught his meaning and answered without even trying to think. In fifties. He gave me a fifty dollar bill. To catch his means to manage to hear meaning. And the six? He asked dryly. In sixes? I said. He gave it me and I rushed out. As the big doors swung behind me, I caught the echo of a roar of laughter that went up to the ceiling of the bank. Swing means to turn suddenly. Echo means to repeat a sound or a statement. Roar means a loud, deep sound. Since then, I bank no more. I keep my money in cash in my trousers pocket and my savings in silver dollars in a sock. To bank means to deposit money in a bank. Trousers means pants or pantaloons. Silver dollar? A silver dollar is an American coin worth one dollar that is made of silver. Written by Stephen Leacock